me and Dozer drove all the way down to Martin County because we wanted to help fight against the Jonathan Dickinson golf course. We're here to say no. And you know what the crazy thing is? About a quarter mile from the entrance of the Jonathan Dixon State Park is a golf course. Tower and observation quote. They're resurfacing the top part of it. Uh, ain't they gonna tear it down anyways if they build the golf course? No. Oh no. Just keep fighting. There, that observation tower, and there's a radar tower that's non operational right there. That all has to be removed for these golf courses to come into play. They're not going to build just one golf course here at Jonathan Dickinson State Park. No, they're going to build three two 18 hole golf courses and one nine hole golf courses. 45 holes of golf will come to this beautiful state park and check out where we're at right now. Look at how beautiful this land is. 45 holes. There is no, there is absolutely no shortage of golf courses in West Palm Beach area right now. You come on down to South Florida, you will find a golf course everywhere. And they call this the Mountain Observation Tower. And as me and Dozer just found out, They've already closed the observation tower. We're still gonna go up there and check it out. They're saying it's for maintenance. When I asked the lady, well, aren't they gonna build the golf course here? She smiled and said, keep fighting. Now this is why they wanna build a golf course here. And this is why we need to make sure they can't. The 10 minute walk would give you a view of the Atlantic Ocean intercoastal waterway and the entire expanse of the park. As you walk through the sand pine scrub, a vanishing plant community, you'll notice the changes in terrain and elevation. This mountain is the highest natural point south of Lake Okeechobee, rising 86 feet above sea level on ancient sand dunes. Please stay on the path to prevent erosion. So we're gonna prevent erosion by staying on the path, but it's okay for the FDEP to say, you know what? A golf course would look good right here. And we're gonna go ahead and take out that tower. By the state's own signs, there is rare wildlife, unique plants, and gopher tortoise burrows right here at Jonathan Dickinson State Park. If we build a golf course here, everything is fine. Get the hell out of here. Now we've climbed all the way up here to see the intercoastal, the Atlantic Ocean, and all of this natural beauty behind us. Look back here and see all the forests they're trying to destroy behind us. And they say it's closed for improvements. Closed for improvements. Pardon our improvements. The improvements they wanna do is take this out and go ahead and put in a golf course. This is what me and Dozer came all the way up here for. He's very winded. He does not like to walk, but check out this view. And you tell me if this is right, that we get a golf course here instead of an observation tower where you could take the most beautiful views you'd ever want to see. Look at all of this that you get to see. That is wild. That is just the way God left it to us. And now we have to build a golf course on this is what we're being told. They told us they closed this. There's signs out here that say they closed this for improvements. But we now know their improvements are not for us, but the people that want to play golf. They never had an intention of opening this. I don't know if you guys have seen this, but Rick Scott and others have signed a paper to the DEP and the ACR telling them, hey, look, hold off the public meetings. Don't hold them in August. That's not fair. Hold them after Thanksgiving. Well, why would you want them after Thanksgiving? They don't care that they're gonna turn this into a golf course. Rick Scott's never been on the side of good. They just care that they're gonna turn them into a golf course too early and that they may have made the announcement a little too early. They should have waited till after the election is what all of these people are angry about. And they were only writing about Jonathan Dickinson State Park right here. So what I'm saying to y'all is this, don't ease up the pressure, keep sending them the emails, let them know we ain't happy because all you sportsmen out there you enjoy them wildlife management areas where we can fish and hunt now well do you think if they get to build a golf course right here in a state park tear down this beautiful observation tower at the highest point on the park's property to build a golf course do you not think they're going to come after our wildlife management areas next where are we going to be able to fish and hunt I'm Matt the Welder, he's Dozer the Great Dane, and we really hope they don't build a golf course on any of our state parks.